Hi. Today, I will explain the post-apocalyptic adventure film of 2021 called Finch. Spoilers ahead. Watch out. Finch. Like any other day, we see Finch a robotics engineer, scavenging for food. He is accompanied by his trusty robot Dewey. Finch headed straight inside the abandoned grocery store, goes to the pet section, and luckily finds dog food. Outside, Finch marked the building to signify that he already foraged the building. As he drives away, we see the post-apocalyptic and degraded city of St. Louis. As he was driving to find more loot, the warning system notified him that a storm is coming. Knowing this, Finch swiftly drives away ramming vehicles in his path. As the storm hits, he entered his base, the former TAE Robotics building, tugging Dewey with him. Inside, Finch showered and coughs blood signifying that his health is degrading fast. He also cleaned Dewey and proceeded to work. He then meets with his dog Goodyear and feeds him. After some time we see Finch scanning books about caring for dogs and uploading data to a robot he is currently working on. At night Finch is seen reading books about radiations and their effects on the body. In the morning, Finch removed Dewey's camera eyes and attaches them to the robot he is working on. Finch started teaching the robot and completing the upload of the scanned documents. He taught him how to speak and understand directives like protecting the dog Goodyear at all costs and refraining from hurting humans. As they are talking, the power goes out. Finch goes outside to fix the wind turbine powering the building and sees a massive storm swirling in the distance. After seeing this, he hurriedly goes inside and connected the robot to a local weather station. The robot predicted that the storm will arrive at the speed of 155 miles per hour shortly and will last for approximately 40 days. Finch, alarmed by this news, hastily sets up the robot's body and decides to travel to San Francisco after considering a plethora of other options on hand. Finch terminated the robot's data transfer at only 72% leaving the robot with childlike innocence and behavior. As the robot now has a proper body, Finch started teaching it how to walk because Finch planned to leave once the robot learns this. As the robot is practicing walking, Goodyear keeps on barking signaling his distrust towards the robot. Finch left the robot learning for himself and gets ready for the journey. As he is preparing, he repaired Dewey's eyes by attaching a new camera from CCTV. After some time, Finch, Dewey, the robot, and Goodyear loaded all of their things on the RV and begins their journey to San Francisco. On the road, Finch tells the robot of how the world is before a massive solar flare hits the earth and burned everything. When they arrive in an abandoned village, Finch teaches the robot the rules of scavenging, and they ended up having a little fun time after they found an old stock of popcorn. But while they are enjoying their time, Finch is then alerted by the warning system that the storm is approaching fast. The team swiftly drives away but the storm still caught up with them. Finch now has no choice but to endure the storm, goes out of the RV, and pinned anchors to fasten the vehicle in place. The robot also helped anchor the RV and told Finch to go inside. The robot successfully pinned the remaining anchors to the ground and goes inside. As the storm hits, the anchors are slowly getting pulled out by the strong wind and debris outside. Thankfully one of the anchors endured the storm and remained pinned on the ground. After the storm, Finch found out that one of the tires got lacerated and thought that they can't continue because they don't have a jack to lift the RV and repair the tire. The robot then happily presented itself and lifted the RV with its bare strength. After the RV gets fixed, the robot suggested that he be named. At night, stopped on the side of the road, they exchanged ideas on what the robot's name would be and they ended up with the name Jeff. Jeff and Finch shook hands for this decision and they slept for the night. In the morning, Finch awakened by Jeff trying to bark and communicate with Goodyear, but Finch told Jeff that dogs don't have a language for communication. They started driving again and are now 1,552 miles away from San Francisco. While underway, Finch told Jeff about trust and told a story related to it. After telling the story Finch started coughing heavily and stopped at an abandoned diner on the side of the road. He hastily goes inside the diner leaving Jeff inside the RV. While Finch is inside, Jeff started tinkering with the vehicle and managed to drive it away from the diner. Finch startled by what Jeff did, knowing that Jeff still doesn't know how to drive, runs outside and shouted to Jeff to get him his protective suit so he can drive the vehicle back to the shade. But instead of Jeff handing the suit in person he again drives the RV in reverse. 
After the incident, the angered Finch shows Jeff how unmerciful the UV rays and Dot treat the world as a joke. Back on the road, Finch started teaching Jeff to drive. At first, he was clumsy but rapidly learns how to. At night they stopped on the side of the road to camp. Finch also explains that moving at night is worse than moving at day because other people are more dangerous than the heat of the sun. Finch also explained that you have to trust no one as trust will get you killed. Finch sleeps inside while Jeff sleeps and remained outside. In the morning, Finch wakes up unwell and gets back to sleep. Jeff decided to carry out the journey with him taking the wheel. After driving for hours, the RV arrived in the deserted city of Denver. As Finch is still deeply asleep, Jeff decided to loot an abandoned building. Based on the instructions and teaching he receives from Finch, Jeff commences scavenging for food, carrying Dewey with him. Jeff leaves Dewey on the lower grounds, because Dewey can't climb stairs. Inside, Jeff finds some good loot, but the now alone Dewey fell into a trap and ended up getting destroyed. On the RV Finch woke up and sees that Jeff goes outside and looks for food. Finch distressed that Jeff may be in danger, suits up and goes out to find Jeff. Inside the building, Finch finds the wrecked body of Dewey and hurriedly finds Jeff. After finding Jeff, Finch reprimanded him for not considering the risk of going into unknown territory and informs Jeff that Dewey is now dead because of his actions. They swiftly go out of the building and drive away. As they drive off from the building, another car started following them. Inside the RV Finch heart rate and blood pressure begin to climb, and he goes unconscious. Finch wakes up HRS later and sees that the car is still following them. He instructed Jeff to crank up the speed of the RV and try to mislead the car after them. On the overpass bridge, Finch took the wheel and veered the RV under the overpass. Unfortunately, the RV is taller than the overpass and cannot go all the way in. Finch is now in panic mode, as he is terrified that they will be caught by the guys flowing them and get killed. Jeff exited the vehicle and proceeds to lift and push the RV inside, destroying the solar panels at the top of the vehicle. Thankfully Jeff managed to push them and mislead the car following them. After narrowly escaping, Finch claims that he can't go on anymore and is ready to give up. It started raining and they headed back inside the RV Finch then told Jeff the story of how a mother and a child died and how he ended up caring for Goodyear. In the morning, while Finch is still asleep, Jeff drives the RV and finds a postcard sent to Finch from his dad. As Jeff is reading the card, the alert system is notifying that the UV ray is low and suddenly a wild butterfly smashes in the windshield. Amazed by this Jeff wakes Finch up and informs him of what happened. Finch tries to go outside to check if it is safe to go outside. He then walks on the road and sees a butterfly flying and landing on his finger. They drive a little off the road and sets up parasols and chairs to enjoy the outside view. Jeff then asks about Finch's dad and Finch told the story of his dad leaving them and sending him one postcard during his 15th birthday telling him to go see the world before they meet. The suit he is wearing is also a preparation for their eventual meeting, but it didn't happen. Finch then told that he cannot continue the journey anymore as he is now dying and told Jeff to take care of Goodyear. Finch and Goodyear started playing catch and told Jeff to try to play with the dog. Finch then started coughing blood and Jeff helped him go inside the RV. With a weak voice, he told Jeff to stay outside and care for Goodyear. They hugged for a long time and Finch started to climb up inside. Finch then proceeded to lie down and sleep while Jeff stayed outside. At night Goodyear howls as Finch died beside him and Jeff proceeded to burn the remains of Finch. In the morning, Jeff not knowing what to do asks himself what would Finch do if he is still alive. He then remembered the instructions that Finch encoded with him, to take care of Goodyear in his absence. Jeff proceeded to feed Goodyear. On the way, he started playing with him and eventually earns the dog's trust. When they arrived at the Golden Gate Bridge, they erected a sign with Finch's name at the base of the bridge. The movie ends with Jeff and Goodyear on the bridge watching the pictures and notes left behind by people fleeing the deadly UV rays. Jeff then decided to search for other survivors.